Welcome back to Your Travel with Olivia. Thank you so much for joining me here again today. I want to bring you up to date with what is happening out there in regards to your travel insurance policy. As of June the 22nd, 2021, um, I have had word from one of the insurance companies about the changes that they're going to be making inside of their policy wording as far as making sure that anybody who purchases a medical emergency policy as long as you've had two doses of the COVID-19 vaccine, that you will be fully covered. If you happen to get COVID-19 or any related illnesses or anything that is surrounding the diagnosis of COVID-19, that will actually be covered if you have a $2 million policy or a $5 million policy. As long as you've got the two doses, all good, right? Now, there are some exceptions to that. Understand that um, as of June the 22nd, 2021, there are some people who have not had their second shot yet. And that's just because of the way that it's being distributed right now. They may not meet the qualifications. And if that's the case, if as long as there's reasons that maybe you couldn't get one just because your turn hasn't come, you're, you know, according to your age, according to your location, you couldn't get one, you will still be covered. Also, for those who are 12 and over, um, you probably just got your first dose. And so, therefore, you would not be qualified for the second dose yet. So, you will still be covered. And also, for those who are under 12 and traveling with their family, well, they haven't received any doses. So, they also will be covered. So, there is some language in there that you just need to pay close attention to um, to fully understand that you're going to get full coverage. But the good news is, is that as long as you've got your first dose of your vaccine and you are on track to getting your second dose, all's good, you will be covered for the full amount. I did a video, last one that I did there, I talked about they only had coverage for 100, 200, 500,000. So that has all changed. If you are not vaccinated at all, for whatever reason, maybe medical um, reasons that you can't get it or you know that you just don't want to get it then the coverage for you is not the full amount of the emergency plan however they have increased the amount from the 500,000 which was the max up to 1 million dollars so if you have any COVID related illnesses while you are traveling you will now be covered for up to 1 million dollars so that's all good news. So it looks like we're on track to having more of an inclusive policy that we're purchasing. But remember what my mantra is, and always remember this, is that make sure you check with your policy and make sure that you understand the wording that's in there and that it is covering you and you fully understand what it is that you are purchasing. Ask those questions and say to them, is this going to cover me if I should happen to have any COVID-19 related illnesses? Will it cover me fully? And then get the answer and have that in writing so that you know where you stand. Very, very, very important. There is one other change and that has to do with trip cancellation and trip interruption. And that is right now, COVID-19 is a known virus out there. And so because of that, the language inside of their policy right now says that there's absolutely no coverage for any kind of COVID-19 related illnesses point blank. Okay, so if you were to purchase trip cancellation and you were to get sick or jury duty or one of your companions that you were traveling with was to get sick and so you would not be able to travel, well, that's fine. You would still be covered, but anything that's related to COVID would not be. You need to fully understand that because a lot of people may get tripped up on that. So let's do a quick recap here. If you've been fully vaccinated, you're going to be covered for the full amount of your medical emergency plan. If for any reason that you are not able to get that second dose right now because of whatever reason, don't worry, you will still be covered. If you are one of those people who have not been vaccinated at all, the amount has actually been increased for any COVID-19 related illnesses to $1 million up from the 500000 that it was previously. So that's all good news. However, Trip cancellation, trip interruption, anything related to COVID will not be covered if for any reason you have to cancel your trip. So that's it. I just wanted to keep you in the loop with some of the changes that are happening to your travel insurance policy. And also, don't forget, I just got this information from one insurance company, but it isn't long before they all follow suit. Very competitive that way. But again, 
Just check with your provider and have all those questions answered. Maybe you've already gone ahead and booked your trip as well, or at least you have an idea of where you want to go. And so this information is going to be paramount for you going forward. However, if this is your first time visiting this channel, please consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button that's down below, as well as the bell, which will notify you that I've just uploaded a new video because I'm bringing all different kinds of content here all the time. Anyways, wishing you a safe trip wherever you happen to be going, even if it's in your neighborhood. As you know, I've been putting out some videos of my neighborhood because I hope that one of these days that you do have the opportunity to come out and visit. Always a pleasure. Stay safe and we shall see you again in the next video. Adios. Bye-bye.